What's up guys? Welcome to the channel. Here we have a 2014 Ford Fiesta. Let's put the key in. Show you what, what's going on right here. You see that Ford what, audio welcome? I try to turn it on. Nothing. Okay, so let's see. Let's press the forward and the on button for 15 seconds. See what happens. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Okay, nothing happened. You see radio, radio, nothing happens, okay? Radio, CD, Sirius, aux, nothing. Today, I'm gonna show you how to take this radio out. The first thing you need to do is you need to remove this right here, okay? And in order for you to do that, you need to get a prying tool well, I'm using my screwdriver, so please use something that way you don't scratch your stuff. And stick it somewhere in the middle, right here. And then lift up, like that, okay? Do it on the other side. And then lift up, just like that. Okay, now with that being clamped out, put your hands and pull it out. It's got a couple clips. Next thing we need to do is we need to remove these two screws right here which I think is an eight millimeter or something. Yeah, yeah. Let me go get the tools real fast. Stay tuned. All right, now we get our Milwaukee removal tool and we're gonna take off these two screws, all right? So let's see, it's actually, it's, uh, let me see if you can see it. It's a seven millimeter socket. Let's go ahead and get number one right here. All right, get it, bud. And number two right here. Let's see. There we go, just like that. Now, the radio should be free and clear to come out. Our next step would be to grab from right here and pry it out, all right? Along with, let's see. Careful, I'm gonna break that. Oh yeah, pull it from here, there we go. And now, the whole radio and the vents come out, okay? So we see back here, we unplug the radio, one, and then we unplug the radio right here. Oh, you gotta press on this little tab. Hold on, let's, let's let it zoom. There we go, press on this little tab, pull it out. And now we have this third one right here, which is your main control switch. So get this, pull in the tab and pull it out. Get this little bottom one right here, uh, hold on one moment. All right, for this little uh, switch right here, we're gonna use a, a T20, T20 little socket or screw, whatever you have. Let's uh, put it to our gun and hold it. All right, and do the other one. It should be free and clear now. And that's how you remove that. Right there, this is your airbag, little airbag light. And you have exposed your box, okay? And your um, your box and your main control switch. So in order to remove the box, we're gonna take these two out right here, which is a, what is it, boss? Seven millimeter yeah. again. Let's see, seven, yes it is. All right, let's go ahead and remove that. Right now. Seven. Loosen that up. Seven. Loosen that up. And voila. Your radio box comes out. Mm -hmm. And usually, 99% of the time, when your radio doesn't work and everything else does work, it's this box that goes bad. So we're going to find a replacement for this. And uh, we're going to get back to you. All right? So here's the number on the part. AE, 8T, but the replacement part that you get may not be the same number, okay? So just go find a radio that fits and we should be able to make it happen, all right? Here, just stay tuned. 